Let's say a driver hits at 50 G's against the wall. His body at that point feels like it weighs 50 times what it does normally. And that's what potentially can produce injuries. IndyCar racing is the most dangerous form of motorsport that there is. That keeps everyone working so hard all the time, always being at the forefront of, of safety innovations. IndyCar has always taken great strides to help ensure driver safety. Uh, that's through the, the sled testing we do, the safety research. We've had a crash box program for many years. That measures all the chassis Gs uh, when a car uh, impacts the wall or another car. We started our ear sensor program, and that's a, a device that each driver wears in their ears that measures three axes of acceleration on each side. That data is all captured real time during an accident. We then use that data to help design sled tests to help make the cars safer. We've got a new analog devices chip called the ADXL377, and what that means is that it's become much smaller. Even on the previous chip, we had over plus or minus over 200G measurement capability. No other chip manufacturer had that. This new chip obviously is a carry-on for that. They give us the range still, and now we've got the size reduction to go with it. Before, you used to have orthogonality issues, which means the planes X, Y, and Z had to be perpendicular to get accurate readings. Well, in a single access aspect, you actually had to build a circuit board that would keep them all orthogonal, like this. So now, in a triple access part, I eliminate all of that. I just put the part down, and the part is orthogonal automatically. So in that case, I always get data that is accurate at the three axes. The ADXL377 has a lot of applicability in, in various markets. One of the biggest, though, is concussion and shock detection for human beings. This device can be put on various methods, helmets, in the ear canal, as you can see with IndyCar, possibly in, in, a, in something like a mouth guard. The good thing about this device also is the fact that it's an analog out device. And that, what that means is you get the entire window of information because it's constantly outputting the data of the impact. If it was a digital device, meaning it's coming out ones and zeros, you may miss critical data that builds that curve of the impact, which may be detrimental to understanding the impact on uh, the person, the driver, the, the sports player, or the soldier. It's a reality when a driver hits their high G impacts. Those sensors allow us to read that and, and design the cars to slow that force down. A big step forward with this new car is us having a surrounding of foam that we build our seat on top of. Having less tire to tire contact, this new car has more bodywork. The side pods are wider than the width of the wheels and also we have the rear bumpers behind the rear tire. Quite a few things here that should all be aimed at making these cars a lot safer and make, making the racing safer. When we look at the future here at IndyCar, we basically are trying to put ourselves out of business. If we can design a race car where nobody gets hurt, we're done. And I can tell you, we're quite happy to do that. Uh, there's nothing better than not having to leave the truck to go download a crash race car. So if that's our goal, 